Hi guys, I'm Mehdi from MeArt Studio and today I'm gonna show you how to use our new creation, the growing plants. Okay, let's get started. At first you will see five different plants in the project file and everyone has some values in modifiers properties to change their appearance. The growing parameter controls the growth rate of plants from 0 to 1. When it's 0, you will see nothing and how much you get closer to 1, it will grow more. Okay, I isolate the middle one and yeah, from 0 to 1. 0 to 1. Okay. And after that, we have pedicle height here. Let's zoom out to see better. It increases and decreases the length of pedicle. Then we have pedicle radius to change the radius of pedicle. And yeah, that's enough, I think. And after that, we see the leaf count for increase and decrease the number of leaves. As you can see, I do it here. Let's keep it on 30. Then we have two parameters for start and ending height of leaves on pedicle. The start make changes from bottom to the top and the end make changes from top to the bottom. As you can see, I do it here. Here we have the leaf scale, so that changes the scale of all leaves on pedicle. Like this. At last we have two other parameters. The first one changes the scale of upper part leaves and the second one changes the lower part leaves separately. As you can see, I do it here. Like this. Okay. And uh, also, uh, I can sh change the viewport shading to the material preview and you see the whole part and again I also change the growth or the pedicle height and then for each of these that's the same and leaf counts or with scale and like this okay here you see the color of some parameters are different that's because of the keyframes i set for them to animate the plants growing if i change the frame number in timeline editor you will see how they are growing and also you can clear their keyframes to make changes by your own creation. Here's an example of a basic animation. Now, 
I hide the plants and enable the scatter ground to show you something interesting. Again, we have two parameters in modifiers properties for this ground. The first one is plants density and like its name, it will increase or decrease the density of plants on this surface, as you can see. The second one is scatter seed to change the randomness of plants directions and scale. I increase the number and you can see how they are changing. Now Let's see what we can do with this plane's geometry. I hit tab button and get into the edit mode. As you can see, it's just a plane with four vertices. Here I can change the location of vertices and see the result. Also, I can subdivide any edges and make different changes on this plane. That's really interesting. Maybe I can hit A button to select all vertices and delete them all. Now let's add a circle, scale it a little bit, then press F button to make it as a surface and yeah. I delete the vertices, then add a plane and scale it again. Okay. That's enough for the plane. I go back into the object mode and get a copy of a scatter ground. Then I hide the first one and then enter to the edit mode and delete all vertices. Okay, let's get back into the object mode to make something amazing like this. To do this easier, we have an add-on inside the Blender and you should just enable it. Let's go to the Blender preferences, then add-ons and type the landscape in search area. Now just check this box near the add mesh and it's done. Now hold shift and hit A and go down in mesh menu. That's here. Let's click on it and expand the settings on the bottom left corner. At first, there are different presets and you can choose one of them by your own taste. I choose the lake too and make some changes on these parameters. It's up to you. I think that's enough. Okay. Here we have two separate surfaces. One of them is our topography and the second one is the lake. 
I think we should scale them a little. Then click on landscape plane and choose the boolean modifier for it. Then select the lake plane for object part. Now hide lake plane and see the result. Okay, it's good, I think. I just change its name to the lake and after that apply the boolean for landscape. Now just select the landscape and hold control button and click on scatter ground then hit control J to join them together and see the result. Again scale it a little bit and yeah this is really amazing. I go to the first frame and hit the space bar to play the growing animation. That's beautiful. At last we have reached the end of this tutorial and thanks for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video and uh, you have learned something new and I hope you like these plans and if you want to get the project file of this creation you can also find it on our ArtStation and Blender Market store which I'm gonna include the links in the description of this video. To support us please like and share this video and subscribe to our channel.